there is all adiman everyone has got a beginning and everything has got properties things that have got a beginning made or born and they got properties constitute the world that i and you know which is we are sure are finite I want you to hold the whole idea in your mind. That is got a beginning, and has got properties. Constitute the world, which is finite. Therefore, if all the saints and sages want us to understand an infinite truth, not finite, infinite truth, naturally. that infinite whatever it be call it god should be without a beginning and without properties simple even as god a beginning it must die idea is <laughs> Finite world as a beginning and an end. It has always properties. Therefore, if there be an infinite reality, as the prophets say in all the scriptures, called God, He must be without a beginning and end, ever remaining, and He can have no property. Thank Narguna Anaditwad because this great truth has no beginning Narguna Twad because it has no guna properties Paramatma I am Paramatma this Paramatma about whom we are talking is Abhyaya is immutable eternal Deathless, permanent. It is not finite. It is infinite. What is this funny look in your face? Not understood. Or is it that you are shaken to the bottom of all your edifice of ideas? Think. The finite world is known to you. Finite world consists of things that are born or made. They have got a beginning. <laughs> They have got properties. Therefore, if there is an infinite God, <clears throat> He should be without a beginning. Because if He has got a beginning, it will be finite, without properties. Because if there are properties, then it is finite. This is all that he said. It's not earth shaking, but it is mind blowing reality. Uh, 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 uh. There is just no beginning. Anadi tuad because he has no beginning. Nar guna tuad because he is without guna properties. I am Paramatma. This state called Paramatma or the higher self. Abhyaya, once you reach there, you cannot come out of it. It is endless, infinite. And this Paramatma being thus, of it belong that belongs to a category other than the world of plurality. It doesn't belong to the world of plurality. Shiriras to become there, even though it is shiriras. Taha, staha, chairs taha, tables taha, carpet tas taha, walls taha, horses taha. Staha means remaining on. Even though the this great Paramatma is Shriya Staha is present in all bodies. Body is matter, which is going to burn and the death and the qualities. 
even though the Paramatma is present in all of them. Nagarodi Nalipyari. He being of another category. Whatever the body acts or functions, those functions are not affecting him. When the body may do sin, he doesn't get sin. The body may do meritorious act. Paramatma is not become more divine because of it. Shirira's toe becomes the even though it is in the body. The activities of the body cannot touch him. Even though the, the teacher said it, Arjuna feels, looks as if exactly like your face. A death look. Like wooden carvings. Egyptian carvings. No life in it. Why? You are confused. <laughs> Krishna understands it and says, don't worry, better I will explain. Even though Bhagavan Paramatma is in your heart, he is not touched by either your activity or your viciousness. Your crimes, he is immaculate at all times. 